What's up YouTube? This is Sean. I am back again and this is part 4 of my Iron Man build. In this video we are going to be focusing on the legs which is the thigh guard, the shin guard, and the shoe cover. And as I mentioned before, this is one of my most complicated builds, so I'm going to try to simplify it just a little bit. Here's a look-see at all my pieces. But before we start applying glue and assembling everything, I kind of wanted to show you guys where I do all my angle cuts. Now, the front pieces where the pieces join together, I cut all my edges in an inward angle cut. Here's a little bit of tip when you want to make your pieces bevel inward or downwards then you do your inward angle cuts and then whenever you want your pieces to bevel upward then you want to make your cuts outward angle cuts and in this particular section i'm going to be doing both the outward and inward cut and i'm also going to be doing some straight cuts for the inner pieces which you'll see here in a little bit as for the smaller piece i made an inward cut and for the larger pieces i made a outward angle cut now here is the front of the thigh guard which I'm going to make a inward angle cut for both the two larger pieces and then I'm going to cut the center in a straight cut and they should look something like this whenever you get everything cut now you can see I've already drew in some line which I'm going to burn in with the wood burner and here are my side pieces and these are smaller pieces that I did cut in a straight angle cut so let's start to assemble everything now I originally had this as one piece but I went ahead and cut it down the middle just so that way I can save on the material because it's such an odd shape. Now I'm going to glue it together to this uh, center piece which I cut the outer edge in an inward angle and the outer pieces I cut those in a straight angle so when whenever you connect them together you're going to have a bevel that kind of goes downward which is what we're going for. And now we're going to connect it to the larger piece which the edge I did cut in an outward angle because I want this part to bevel upward and I'm going to carefully align all my pieces together and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. This is the combination of inward angle cut to a straight cut, straight cut to an outward angle cut and uh, it is a little tricky when you put it together but when you get it all down into place then you have this piece that kind of rises up on the side of the thigh and now I'm going to go through and make sure all my pieces are in contact because there's actually a lot of pieces right here now I got the outer side of my thigh done it's time to connect the center piece which I cut the larger piece in an inward angle cut and the center piece I cut in a straight cut and then when I attach them together I have this really nice bevel looking edge thingy right here and now I'm gonna do it again with the inner side of my thigh I'm gonna start by connecting the corners and then work my edges together I do this because I don't want my pieces to flap around because they are a pretty large piece and I don't want to accidentally make the glue contact each other midway through because that would be really bad not really it's just cosplay bro you just want to take your time make sure all your edges are nice and smooth now it's time to attach the back piece now if you have thicker thighs then you might want to make this strip right here a little bit wider and if you have skinnier thighs then you can actually make this piece a little bit thinner because it's in the back nobody's really going to notice the difference and also uh, if you have shorter legs like I do you can actually trim the bottom of the thigh guard and um, I actually did this with my Iron Man I did I did trim the bottom of the thigh guard and I trimmed the top of the thigh guard just a little bit because you know I'm like five foot one inch and three quarters a little bit more than that maybe but I'm not gonna get off specific so this is what your thigh guard should look like once you get it all completed I'll go back through and burn the lines towards the end of the video now it's time to assemble the shin guard here are all my pieces I did cut the inner edges where they connect I did cut those in an inward angle and what I like to do is when I have two pieces that mirror each other I just stack them on top of each other like this and then I'll apply glue on both the edges at the same time now you don't want to be all sloppy and end up gluing these two pieces together 
because that would be bad. Now that my glue is dry to attack, it's time to attach these two pieces. I'll start off with the corners and then work my edges together down the center line. I did make a undercut for this little corner right here. That way when I glue it, it comes out just like that. Now it's time to attach the other side together. And I'm going to do the same thing and start off with the corners. Make sure they're both in place and then work my way down the center making sure that my edges are nice and smooth and here's a look of that undercut that i made i didn't fill it in with glue or anything i just cut um halfway through the foam and glued it together just like that and now here's the back piece of the shin guard and we're going to glue that together. Now I did cut both the outer edge of the center piece in an inward angle cut. So that way when I glue it to these two pieces, I'll have a slight bevel, but not too much. And I like to try to keep my seams really nice and smooth. This way I don't have to go back through and sand down these pieces. Now here is the piece for the heel or the back part of the shin guard. I cut some V groove undercuts and then I'm going to glue it together and then glue it down onto the back piece just like that. Now you can actually put some elastic here if you wanted to move back and forth but I decided to just glue it straight down to it. And here is the knee cover or knee pad or the top part of the shin guard. There's actually a couple ways you can do this and this all really depends on how tall you are or the length of your leg. Now for my Iron Man, I actually did glue it together just like this, but for a taller person, then you may have to do it differently, which I will show you here later on in the video. Now here are the pieces for the calf muscle thingy. I went and made some V-groove undercuts for this piece right here. And I made some inward angle cuts for these edges right here. Then I'm going to go through and apply contact cement to all my pieces. Which I like to do all at once. That way when they all dry to tack, it's time to attach everything together. I'm going to start by attaching this thingy jiggy here to this thingy right here which I did cut in an inward angle cut. It looks like an outward angle cut right now, but that's because it's flipped over, you see. I transferred some hash marks over from my pattern, and then I'm gonna stick it right there. And I wanna make sure that all my seams are nice and smooth by using the surface of my table and making sure that my corners all join up nice and neatly. And now that I got my three pieces glued together, my pile of patterns are starting to look a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to glue these two pieces together right here. And then once I get those two glued together, I'm going to connect it to the other piece. Now you're probably wondering why I'm using black foam for the calf accents, but uh, I really have no good excuse. Actually, I do. It's uh, I ran out of white foam, but uh, yeah. Now I'm going to take the pieces that I just glued together and I'm going to carefully position it onto the rest of the shin guard and I'm going to mark my lines and this is where I'm going to glue the pieces down. Now the white part of the shin guard is actually identical with the other side. Um, when you glue this accent on there, it's going to separate it from the left and the right because they don't look identical after that they actually just mirror each other so whenever um, I cut patterns for the other side I make sure that I flip the patterns over and then I cut it for the other side because last thing I want is to have two left legs or two right legs that just wouldn't make any sense right I mean right so now I got my calf piece all glued down to the rest of the shin guard and it's starting to look pretty groovy. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's starting to look pretty legit. Now it's time to move along to the shoe cover. Now I could have just made a pair of shoes out of foam but walking around on foam all day at a convention can be pretty uncomfortable. So I decided to make uh, shoe covers that will cover some really nice comfortable tennis shoes or even slippers 
So here is the piece for the front of the shoe guard. I went through and made four undercuts and here are the back pieces which I cut into like small pieces. And you probably noticed that I'm using floor mats instead of uh, the regular foam that I've been using for the rest of the build. Well, why not? I mean, floor mats are made to be walked on, right? I mean, just kind of makes sense, don't it? Now I'm gonna glue all my pieces down, gluing all my undercuts together, and I'm gonna glue the sole of the front piece to the uh, front piece just like that and notice how I glued it with the texture side down and I'm thinking that this will help with grip on the floor when you're walking I don't know and then here are the back pieces which is the heel of the shoes I did cut those into individual pieces and then glued them together now I could have kept it one big piece and did some v-groove undercuts but uh, why not right you want to make sure you get the texture side down like I, right here. I almost glued it the wrong way. I mean, that would have been really, really bad, but not the end of the world. I mean, I could have always taken it apart and redid it the other way. Now that I have both the front and the back of my shoe cover made, it's time to attach these two together. I'm using some elastic and just going to hot glue them together just like this. And you're wondering why. Well, you want it to stretch like that so you can slip your shoes in there. And here is like another shoe cover thingy that I'm going to hot glue some elastic to the rest of the shin guard. And since my clamps are a little too small to reach all the way in there, I had to use some tongue depressor to hold it in place. And once the glue hardened up, it flexes just like that. Now I'm going to attach some Velcro or hot glue some Velcro so that these pieces can hold together just like this. So this is how everything kind of goes on together. You just kind of slip your shoes into the shoe cover and then attach the Velcro that's inside the shin guard to the shoe. And it's gonna connect together just like this. And then when you're walking around, everything kind of flexes together. And that's just amazing, like the coolest thing ever. Now putting all of this on is quite a challenge but I will show you guys how to put everything together in a future video. In this video, I just wanted to cover the building process of the legs. Now right here, I went and cut the knee part of the legs off and I'm going to trim it. I'm gonna re-glue these pieces back on. Now, if you're a shorter person like me, you probably don't have to do this, but for taller people, and you might wanna extend the knee up a little bit higher, then this is the way to go. Now my friend Be A Hero Cosplay suggested that I do this. You should go check out his Instagram. He's got some really sick Batman and Iron Man cosplay going on over there. And now it's time to add the finishing touches, which I'm gonna take my wood burner and burn in these detailed lines right here. And that pretty much completes the uh, Iron Man look. And right here, I went and threw on a couple coat of gray Plasti Dip to seal the foam. Well, that just wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys learn something. So if you're into this kind of stuff, I mean, if you're really into this and you want to build your own Iron Man cosplay, then make sure you guys check the link in the description down below. It'll take you to the templates. And if you feel like you got something out of this video, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I always do cool stuff here, or at least I try to. And follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook because why not, right? I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.